All right, it's time for Move It Monday. A gym in Newburgh wants to help seniors stay in shape with a new fitness program. Yeah, it's called Retired and Fit. And no matter what age you are, it can be pretty intimidating to join a gym. And this program is going to break down those barriers. You may recognize these two, Rebuild Fitness owner Doug Hildreth and head coach Christine Stacy joining us now. Good morning to you both. Great to see you again. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you guys for having us back. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so this is new. This is a new, a new program, Retired and Fit. Before we dive into all of it, but why bring this up? Why is this a focus? for you guys right now? It's multifaceted, right? I mean, as we age, it's really important to stay active because we lose muscle mass and bone density. I will say I have a lot of skin in the game as I have two parents now that have just ticked over the right into the 60-year-old mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the, the more I read about it and we've researched it, the more I'm trying to figure out ways to entice them to come back in and be part of what we're trying to do. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. okay. And so we started getting inquiries a couple years ago from people act, asking if we could help get them through this program. And it's called silverandfit.com. So if you go to silverandfit.com, you can actually verify if your health insurance will cover your gym membership. And so it took some time for us to go through the process and become an approved facility and, and gym. And we finally were able to do that. And so now we offer a class for people that are retired and want to be active and fit as they age. That's nice. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, great program you could take advantage of uh, with uh, with Medicaid, Medicare, yes. and uh, your insurance. So when we when we talk about exercising into our later years, you know, they say an object in motion stays in motion. Yes. But what are some other, you know, things to maybe consider as you age? Yeah, I, I mean, I think the biggest is, is like, uh, bone density loss. So we, we, we've been doing a lot of research on what happens to women particularly as they age. And yeah. so what we found was that women between the ages of 60 and 69, 22% are diagnosed with osteoporosis. And that number almost doubles once we hit 70. Wow. So it goes from 22% to 39%. And it's scarier then. So if you live into your 80s as a female, almost 80% of women are diagnosed with osteoporosis. Oh wow. Gosh. Which falling makes you frail. There's mm -hmm. just little things that can happen that make it really right. easy to heal. It's domino effect too, it, it, right? It yeah. really yeah. is. And, yeah. and then across the board for, for males and females, the muscle density loss that we experience as we age is significant. Mm -hmm. Starting in our 30s, if we're not doing resistance training, we mm -hmm. can lose between 3 and 8% every decade. Wow. So you start thinking about that and you pile it up, uh, it, it really does matter to be really active as we age. Mm -hmm. So, Christine, what does this program look like? You know, somebody yeah. sees this, they sign up for retired and fit what what does a bit of the program look like that they're going to be signing yeah, up you for you want to do a couple movements for us i can we'll i can do resistance <laughs> training but we modify it to fit what their mobility is and mm -hmm. what their level of fitness but resistance is pushing against something mm -hmm. so push up mm -hmm. can you do a push up for i us? can i can do one <laughs> so we'll just show you a couple variations uh -huh. so someone might come in the gym be able to do a full push up hands and feet there you go some people might need to put their knees down but we actually go ahead and do one we actually might have a lot of people who can't in, even do this. Can you stand up? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to pretend to be a wall okay. right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so we might have people start against a wall. So mm -hmm. if we're standing here, we'll literally put our hands against the wall and do a push-up against mm -hmm. the wall. And that's mm -hmm. resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really important with this group of people that we are teaching them resistance training. And that's what keeps our bone density up keeps building muscle mass, yeah. with all of that. Yep. And it's great to see you know, some of those exercises that use your body weight, right? Body weight workouts, they're yes. easy to do anytime, anywhere, but nice for someone to get that confidence and, and do it under the watchful eye, mm -hmm. right, yes. of trainers oh. and make sure they're doing it safely. 100%. Yeah. And with people, they're peers. Yeah, yeah they got right? the community aspect. A hundred percent. It makes for a really nice connection for people. That's that can great. be hugely motivating. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay, so how can people sign up for Retired and Fit over at Newburgh Rebuilt? Yeah, so they can go to www.rebuilt.com built.fit and you can also just come in uh, we we have classes on Wednesdays and Fridays at 9 30 a.m. That's awesome. awesome. Yes. Some good motivation to get your week kick started. Yes. Doug, Christine, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Yeah, thank you. We really appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you very if you've much. got someone at home who wants to check out this program, again, Rebuilt Fitness, located in Newburgh, you can learn more about their classes, programs, and more at rebuilt.fit. All right, it's 842. Coming up next on AM Extra, a Portland-based rapper teaming up with a living legend. And during this AAPI month, we're going to hear the incredible story behind a new music video and the tribal tattoo artist that he's called.